Good evening. This is Agashvani Kohima. I'm Jonas Yandan with Evening News. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says democracy is the culture that gives wings to thought and expression. Director General of Police Rupin Sharma says there is a need to enhance trust and faith of women in criminal justice system. Dimapur Municipal Council empowers Urban Council Chairman and GPs to check illegal dumping of garbage and waste. And Agriculture and Farmers Welfare Minister Narendra Singh Dumal launches PM Gisan Mobile app. Now the news in detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said democracy is the culture that gives wings to thought and expression. Addressing the joint session of the U.S. Congress in Washington, D.C., Modi said India and the U.S. will demonstrate that democracies matter and democracies deliver. He said India and the U.S. together will give a better future to the world and a better world to the future. Prime Minister said we must revive multilateralism and reform multilateral institutions with better resources and representation that applies to all our global institutions of governance, especially the United Nations. Modi said when the world has changed, our institutions too must change. Prime Minister said today in modern India, women are leading us to a better future. He highlighted that India's vision is not just of development that benefits women. It is of women-led development where women lead the journey of progress. Modi said India's vision is pro-planet progress, pro-planet prosperity and to create pro-planet people. The Prime Minister said this is not an era of war but it is one of dialogue and diplomacy. He said we all must do what we can to stop the bloodshed and human suffering. Modi said more than two decades after 9-11 attacks and more than a decade after terrorist attack in Mumbai, radicalism and terrorism still remain a danger for the whole world. Director General of Police Rupin Sharma said there is a need to enhance the trust and faith of women in the criminal justice system. Speaking at a seminar on working of Mahila Thana today, organized by National Commission for Women in collaboration with the Nagaland State Commission for Women and Dimapur Police Commissionerate, Sharma expressed the importance of raising awareness among the public regarding crime against women. He said in the past 20 years, issues of women's liberty, women's rights and safeguard of crime against women or crimes committed by women have gained a lot of precedence and legal provisions have been made to protect the identity of victims. He stressed on the importance of educating people to refrain from stigmatizing the victim. Sharma added that it is crucial to view any woman who comes out to report a crime not as someone defiled or demeaned, but as a courageous person who has taken the step to report the incident to the police. He said that things will change if the act of reporting to the police is encouraged. Sharma said Nagaland police are generally lacking in crime detection, which includes crime against women. Sharma called on the officers to be sensitive on various issues as the work is not just to stop crime, but also to win over the trust and faith of the people. Dimapu Municipal Council DMC has empowered Dimapu Urban Council Chairman Federation and GP's Union Urban Dimapu to check illegal dumping of garbage and waste in trains and littering of public spaces in their respective colonies and wards and to strictly monitor and enforce penalties to the offenders. DMC Administrator W. Manpai Pom in an order stated that 1,000 rupees will be fined for the first offence, 2,000 rupees for the second offence and 5,000 rupees for third offence. The DMC Administrator said receipts will be issued, records will be maintained and monthly reports will be submitted to the DMC. The amount collected will then be utilised for sanitation and waste management expenses in the wards and colonies. 
DMC stated the rampant illegal and irresponsible lit littering and dumping of garbage and solid waste in drains and open public space is leading to blockage and clogging of drains and affecting all the main drainage system within DMC jurisdiction and resulting in flooding and inundation of several low-lying areas in Dimapu due to bike flow of water. DMC further said the present system of waste collection under DMC is in place where garbage and municipal solid waste is collected from point to point covering all the wards under municipality and that waste is to be disposed either in sanitation vehicles detailed for the purpose or in designated commercial waste collection points. This news comes to you from Akashwani Gohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on news on air app and YouTube channel AIA News Kohima. Agriculture and Farmers Welfare Minister Narendra Singh Dumar launched the PM Kisan mobile app with a face authentication feature. Speaking on the occasion, Dumar said PM Kisan is an innovative scheme whose benefits are being given to the farmers without any middlemen. He said PM Kisan is a very comprehensive and ambitious scheme of the central government and due to the support of states, the centre is in a position to pay the instalment to about 8.5 crore farmers after the completion of their KYC. The minister said today it has become possible to give benefits to such a large number of farmers only with the help of technology. Through this app, remote farmers can do eKYC by scanning the faces without OTP or fingerprint. Two-day specialized skill training program on post-harvest management and processing of fish began today at Sanyas under Walker. District Fishery Officer Beren C. Dori Antan said the training is a significant step towards strengthening the fish industry in the district. Yantan said the program aims to promote entrepreneurship generate employment opportunities and contribute to the overall development of the district. The two-day skill training program will cover various aspects of post-harvest management including proper handling, storage, packing, value addition and quality control of fish products. The training is being organized with the aim to empower unemployed youth, strengthen the fish one district, one product of Woka district and enhancing the capacity of beneficiaries under PM formalization of micro-food processing enterprises. Deputy Inspector General Criminal Investigation Department Police Headquarters, Kohima, Dr. K.P.A. Ilias emphasized on the importance of safeguarding oneself against becoming a victim of cyber crimes. Speaking at the ongoing combined annual training camp being conducted by 1st Nogalin Girls Battalion NCC at Sazuli College, Jotsuma, Elias shared examples on how cyberspace can be misused, such as hacking and leakage of personal and confidential information, and imparted knowledge about the associated risks and consequences. Elias urged the gadgets to be alert and always maintain cyber protocol and encouraged the gadgets to spread awareness on cyber security in their families, friends and communities. The India Meteorological Department has forecast fairly widespread to widespread light to moderate rainfall with isolated thunderstorm and lightning during next five days in the northeast. Isolated heavy rainfall is also likely over Nagaland, Manipur and Mizoram between 23rd to 27th June. Besides cloudy sky, with one or two spells of rain or thunder showers is expected over Kohima over the course of the next three days. Today, the state capital Kohima recorded a maximum temperature of 26 degrees Celsius and a minimum temperature of 19 degrees Celsius, while Dimabu recorded a maximum temperature of 32 degrees Celsius and a minimum temperature of 24 degrees Celsius. And now, 20 news, here are the main points again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says democracy is the culture that gives wings to thought and expression. Director General of Police Rupin Sharma says there is a need to enhance trust and faith of women in criminal justice system. Dimabu Municipal Council empowers Urban Council Chairman and GPs to check illegal dumping of garbage and waste. 
and Agriculture Farmers Welfare Minister Narendra Singh Dumar launches PM Kisan mobile app. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.